Hi everybody, it's Eliana, the Prayer Princess, and I am going to share with those of you who are asking God for direction, asking God for next steps. You know, maybe there's some things that you're praying about, some moves that you need to make, or maybe there could just be some things that you want or desire. You know, it could be promotions, it could be whether to marry this person or not marry that person, or um, it could be, you know, you want to travel for some time now, or, and you're wondering if this is a time that you should do it, or um, should you take up studies, go back to school, whatever. And so when we are asking God for the next steps or the next thing that we should do, you know, we usually we're asking him for signs, we're asking him for revelations, we're asking him um, for confirmations and those type of things. And I know for me, um, usually when I'm asking the Lord what the next step is, I want to see the what's going to happen five years from now, 10 years from now. Tw I want to see the whole picture. Give me the whole puzzle, you know, but he's not like that. He'll give us two or three pieces of the puzzle at a time. And um, so that's just the way that he moves. And they just have to live by faith. We have to, you know, work out each piece of um, the step and asking him for guidance. So here's some tips that I just wanted to give because um, I'm in the same boat myself right now. And these are some things that have been helpful for me. And the first thing um, I remember asking the Lord, you know, for, you know, what to do about X, Y, Z. And he said, you didn't do X. <laughs> Why are you asking about Y and Z? <laughs> so number one is make sure you have done the very last thing that the Lord has shown you, the very last thing that he told you to do. He's not going to give you any more pieces of the puzzle until you do the thing that he told you to do. And then the next thing is... Um, don't stop doing the things that you know are right to do. So um, you know that being faithful over a few things makes you ruler over the many. So if you got bigger and grander plans and you want the Lord to trust you with more things, then continue to be faithful over the few things. Um, if you are a good steward, continue to be a good steward. If you're not a good steward, and I'm not necessarily talking about... Um, giving financially or anything like that, but just whatever the Lord has entrusted in your life. If he's given you a home, keep it clean. If he's given you a car, keep it clean. If he's, um, you know, um, the monies that you do make, are you budgeting them properly? So be faithful over these little things because sometimes the big picture that the Lord has for you, you're going to stumble in the future if you haven't built on these little things like making a budget. And that thing right there held me up for years on stuff that I was asking the Lord for. I was not faithful with budgeting. I would always get myself in, in debt and in scraps. So the next thing is, um, the number three would be, um, the thing that you're asking, have you done everything in the natural that you can do? So let's use vacation for an example. Let's say that you're one of those people who say, oh, I'm, I'm going to travel the world. I love to travel the world. And I, I, I would love to go from place to place, country to country. But you don't even have a passport. So is that a real? Is that real? How can he really move and help you in that area? You have to, to do some natural things first before you can do that. And you may need to, you know, like me, I used to order Uber Eats every other day. You know, stop ordering Uber Eats and save some of that money so that when you do go on your trip, you have some spending money. You know, it's some very practical things that we can do while we're waiting on the Lord to give us some more pieces of the puzzle. So I just wanted to encourage you that if you're waiting on God, make sure he's not waiting on you to do some things first, you know. And then if you know that you've done everything that you um, can do and have possibly done, and then just continue to be faithful because the answer is yes, no, or maybe, and it could also be right, not right now. So um, just do the next steps of um, being faithful, um, you know, being prayerful. If you're trying to hear from God, then you're going to have to talk to him. And not only talk to him, but then listen, because I'm, I'm good about having a one-way conversation. <laughs> so you have to also be quiet and listen to what the Lord has to say. So just continue to be faithful and show him gratitude and thanksgiving for the pieces of the puzzles that he has shown you. Amen.